In order to stay on top of library budgets and finances, it is important to understand how to read a financial statement. We'll be taking a quick look at the terms you need to know and where to look for important details in the most commonly used monthly financial reports. Local government and library financial reports are public records and must be made available for review and audit purposes, so you shouldn't feel funny about asking to see them. Local government reports like this one will have similar elements, but the format may look a little different when you drill down to the funds for the library. We'll look at a library's revenue and expenditure reports in detail. There are actually four types of financial reports you may review over the course of a year. Budget versus actuals for expenditures. This shows what was budgeted for expenses and how much has been spent. Detailed ledger report that shows every transaction the library had in a month. Budget versus actuals for revenue shows how much revenue the library is expected to receive and how much it has received. A cash balance report shows the cash on hand. Now we'll take a little closer look at sample revenue and expenditures reports. These reports are generated from the local government accounting system and are consistent with the BARS chart of accounts, a framework for governmental accounting systems. You will see amounts broken out in columns with different headings. These reports are used by the director to manage the budget and then report out any items of interest to the board when it meets. Check the dates. There will be a date in the upper left that is only the date the report was generated or printed. You need to look at the accounting period to know which month's statement you are reviewing for a specific fiscal year. A detailed ledger shows everything that happened in a specific time frame. These are usually generated on a monthly basis and can help you see expenditures, fund balances, and revenue status. For the revenue statement, you will see columns labeled Account, Received Current Month, Received Year to Date, Estimated Revenue, Revenue to be Received, and the Percent Received. Looking at the budget versus actual report is most helpful for boards in seeing what's going on at a glance. The budget is your starting point and the approved level of funding for the library. For the expenditure report, you will see columns for fund, account, and object codes. These give you detail about where funds are being spent. More on that in a moment. Other column headings include committed current month, committed year to date, original appropriation, current appropriation, available appropriation, and the percentage of funds committed in the fiscal year. Let's get a little bit more specific with library-related expense funds, accounts, and object codes. Library expenses are coded in the local government budget in 460-000, Culture and Recreation. Expenditure codes for this fund include library services in 460-100. Note that there are additional levels of expenditure codes for specific types of expenses. Expenditures are further identified using object expenditure classifications. Familiarity with the BARS chart of accounts will help you understand what funds are being spent in specific categories. When you are building the annual budget, the expenditure codes and object classifications provide a structure to help put funds into a defensible and auditable format. If you have a chance, visit the Local Government Services website to access training materials. You can get a deeper dive into the terminology and requirements for following generally accepted government accounting principles. You should skim the detailed ledger report prior to your board meetings to stay up to date on the budget. 
Financial reports should be part of board meeting materials. Monthly review with support from the director helps maintain a checks and balances approach that prevents any surprises when it comes to supporting the activities of the library and getting ready for the next budgeting cycle.